Now we come to the most beautiful pair of these surahs. But please note two things. Number one, that these two surahs are very peculiar in the way, Surah Al-Rahman and Surah Al-Waqiyah, that there is no mention of any prophet, any messenger, any wahi, this, you know, one main article of faith, Nabuah and Risala, is absolutely not mentioned here. Only Iman Billah, Tawheed of Allah, His attributes, His blessings, His grandeur, His majesty, the creation, all these things. And then the Akhirah, the Jannah and Jahannam, the hereafter and the hell, and the garden or paradise. These two things are mentioned here. No mention of any wahi, any prophet, any rasul. It's very peculiar. These two surahs, Surah Al-Rahman and Surah Al-Waqiyah. Secondly, this surah, the first of them, <coughs> Surah Al-Rahman, is most unique in the whole of Quran. That in this surah, the jinns and men, human beings, they are addressed simultaneously, absolutely parallel way. In the whole of the Qur'an, the jinns are not directly addressed in that way. But here, you know, this is for the jinns as well as humans. Absolutely parallel, absolutely equal. This is the only surah in the Qur'an where this address is to both of these creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, absolutely parallel and equal. And now these two surahs, if we have time today to free both of them, you will find that the sequence of these surahs are like that of a mirror image. You know, a mirror image. You have certain buildings, houses made in a fashion. You know, they are mirror image to each other. A double house, if there is the garage, here is the garage. And you know, this is the drawing room, so this is the drawing room. Drawing rooms are together. Garages are on the ends. So this is called the mirror image. Sequence in these, these two surahs. In Surah Al-Rahman, in the very beginning, mention of Quran. In Surah Al-Waqiyah, in the end, mention of Quran and its grandeur. Then, in Surah Al-Rahman, after the mention of Quran, the grandeur of Allah's creation. And in Surah Al-Waqiyah, before the mention of Quran, in the end, you will find this grandeur of the creation of Allah. Then in Surah Al-Rahman, to start with, there is the mention of the people of the hell. And then you know, the two, two grades of the people of garden. And that, that, this, the opposite sequence will you find over there. People of hell will be mentioned later. And the two grades of the people of the garden or Jannah, they will be earlier. So it's a mirror image. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ar Rahman. The compassionate. Now this is ayah, complete, but not a sentence. Ar Rahman Allam al Quran. Now the sentence is complete, but the ayahs are two. He has taught the Quran. You know, this Quran is his kalam, his speech, and he has taught. Khalaq al Insan. He has created man, Allamahul Bayan, and taught him articulate speech. These four things are the topmost things. Out of the sacred and good names of Allah, Ar-Rahman is the most beautiful name. Because the source, the root is Rahma, mercy. And Rahman, a mercy, you know, just as an ocean, you know, in storm. So that much mercy, you know. So this Rahman is the most lovable name. And as I've told you many a times, this was the name introduced by Quran. Allah, the name of Allah, was very well known to the Arabs, and they used it. But Rahman, you know, it was introduced by Quran. Now, Allah al Quran, all the knowledge which we have is from Allah. But the highest knowledge is the knowledge of Quran. Number three, Khalaq al Insan, well, he has created heavens, earth, sun, moon, angels. Jinns, all. But the climax of his creation is man. Allah Mahul Bayan. 
He has given us many faculties. We can see, but the animal can also see. Some of them can see better than ourselves. All the other faculties are common. But the highest faculty given to man is articulate speech. Allamahul bayan. So these are four things. Ar-Rahman, the most beautiful name. Allamal Quran, the highest knowledge is Quran. Qalaqal insan, insan, man is the climax of creation of Allah. Allamahul bayan and this faculty of expressing yourself. Articulate speech is the highest faculty endowed to human beings. So now there is a result of these three sentences. Ayat are four, sentences are three. Ar-Rahmanu allama al-Quran, khalaq al-insan, allamahu al-bayan. Now you can guess what should be the fourth. By the method of ratio proportion, a method in arithmetic which might, if you recall, during your school days. Fourth value is that the best use of this faculty of bayan is to explain Quran. The best faculty should be used for the highest knowledge. And that is what the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Khairukum man ta'allam al-Qur'an wa'allama. Whosoever among you, he devotes himself to understanding of Qur'an and then teaching of Qur'an, he is the highest and best amongst you. Ashamsu al-Qamaru bi husban. The sun and the moon follow their computed courses. And the stars and the trees prostrate before Allah. And the heaven he has raised high. And he has set the balance. Mostly people think this balance is justice in this world. I have a different opinion. I understand that this is the cosmic balance. The cosmic balance between the planets. This is mutual balance. The gravity forces, they balance each other. If there's any difference in the course of when one planet, they will collide together. So this universe, this space, and all this, this is based on a cosmic balance. Allah tad ghafil mizan, they don't disturb this cosmic balance. Waqimul wazna bil qistri wa la tuhsilul mizan. And establish, keep the balance with equity and don't let the balance be lost. Well, now we come to the earth. All this was for the space and the planets and the galaxies. Now, well, and the earth, she laid it down for the creatures. Fiha Fatiha, there are fruits, and the palm trees having sheets. Well, and the grain in the husk, والرحان, and the fragrant plants. So, which of the bounties and graces of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you will belay? Tukazzeban is tasniya, two, addressed to jinns and men. Khalaqal insana min sulsalin kal fakhar. He created the jinn, he created the man out of a ringing clay, like the potter's clay. And he created the jinn from a smokeless fire. Now this ayah will be repeated 31 times. I am not going to translate every time. I have translated, so which of the blessings and bounties and graces of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will you belay? So we don't need to translate again and again. Maraj al Bahrani al Takhiyan, he set forth the two seas or currents side by side. Between them is a barrier, they don't intermingle and then don't overpass. From both of them, the bitter current and the sweet current side by side. But from both of them come out the pearls and the corals. And his are the ships sailing upon the sea, raised up like mountains. And 
ایوری ون ہو از دیئر ول پاس اوے وہ اب کا وجہ رب کا ذل جلال و الکرام بٹ اونلی دی فیس اف یور لارڈ ول ابائڈ فار ایور فار ایور اونر اف میجسٹی اینڈ سپلینڈر فبی ائی الا ربکما تکذبان یسلوہ من فی السماوات والارض ایوری ون ہو از دیئر ان دی ہیونز اینڈ دی ارتھ دی بیگ ہم always kull yawm in huwa fi shaan and each day he is upon a new sublime state fa bi ayya ala rabbikum atukazziban sanafru lakum ayyuha saqalan o two great creatures saqalan men and jinns ayyuha saqalan we shall soon attend to you fa bi ayya ala rabbikum atukazziban ya mashar al jinn wal ins o the assemblies of jinn and mankind in istatatum if it is possible for you and tanfudu min aqtari samawat wal ard that you pass beyond the boundaries of the heavens and the earth tanfudu then pass la tanfudu na illa bi sultan you will not be able to pass through these boundaries except with our authority what does it mean from the boundaries of heavens and earth to go out what does it mean the heavens and the earth is the whole universe this is the whole existence this means if you want to perish you want that you should not be there any more you can't do it in jahannam people will like that there should be some end to our existence we don't want to exist but you have to exist you can't you know be destroyed absolutely and finished in existence your existence will remain Unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at some time do, He decides to do it. He can do it. فَبِعَيَّا لَا رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِبَانَ يُرْسَلُ عَلَيْكُمَا شُوَعَزٌ مِّن نَارٍ وَنُحَاسٌ فَلَا تَنْتَصِرَانَ There shall be sent against you both flames of fire and smoke and you will be able, you will not be able to defend yourself. فَبِعَيَّا لَا رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِبَانَ فَإِذَنْ شَقْتَتِ السَّمَاءَ And when the heaven will be split as under, فَقَانَتْ وَرْدَةٌ كَدْدِحَانَ And it will become as red as the hides of the people, of the animals. فَبِأَيِّ عَلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانَ فَيَوْمَ إِذِنْ لَا يُسَلُوا عَنْ زَمْبِهِ إِنْ سُلُوا عَلَىٰ جَانْتُ On that day, neither the jinns nor the mankind will be asked or questioned about their sins. What does it mean? There will be no need of asking them. It will be written on their faces. يَوْرَ فُلْ مُجْرِمُونَ بِسِيمَاهُمْ The guilty and the culprits will be recognized by their face marks. For you, Khadu bin Nawasi wal Abdam, so they will be seized with their forelocks, hair, and their feet, hair and feet, and thrown into the fire. For be ayya ala Rabbi kumatu kaziban. Has he Jahannam ulati yukazeb bihal mujre moon? This is the hell which the guilty had been belying. Ya tufu na bain ha wa bain habi minan. Now they will keep rotating between it and the hot boiling water. When they are in the fire, they become thirsty, go out, but there, you know, their thirst is quenched by boiling water. They again run there. So they will be going on between these two things, to this and that. On the contrary, for those who had feared their Lord, There should be two gardens. Why two gardens? I have not found these things in any of the tafasir or translation. These things have come to my mind. If they are correct, I thank Allah. If they are wrong, I pray to Him that He should rectify me. Two gardens, why? One for the jinns, one for the humans. They are made of different material. Their temperaments are different. So the, the garden should be separate for the jinns and the humans. وَلَمَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ جَنَّتَان فَبِعَيَّا لَا رَبِّكُمَا تُكَزِبَان فَبِعَيَّا لَا رَبِّكُمَا تُكَزِبَان سَوَاتَ عَفْنَان Abounding in branches, branches فَبِعَيَّا لَا رَبِّكُمَا تُكَزِبَان فِيهِمَا عِنَانُ تَجْرِيَان In them there will be two fountains flowing فَبِعَيَّا لَا رَبِّكُمَا تُكَزِبَان فِيهِمَا مِن كُلِّ فَاقِيَةٍ زَوْجَانِ In those gardens there will be every fruit of two kinds. 
reclining upon couches lined with brocade. Vajanal Jannatay Nidan and the fruit of both gardens will be just near at hand. They can pluck it as they desire. Fabi ayi ala ay rabbekum atukas zibaan. Fihinna qasiratu tarfi lam yatmi sunna insun qablahu wala jaan. In those gardens will be the maidens of restraining glances, whom neither men will have touched before them nor any jinn. Fabi ayi ala ay rabbekum atukas zibaan. Kanna hunna liyakutu wal barjaan. They will be so beautiful as if they were the rubies and corals. What can be the recompense of good? But good. They did good deeds, so they are getting good you know, things from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And beyond them will be two more gardens. Now this is for the higher level of the, of the people of Jannah. Two levels. In Surah Al-Waqiyah we shall find Ashabul Yameen and Muqarrabun. Those who will be very near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Two levels of the Mu'mineen, of the believers. And here also. And beyond them there will be two more gardens. There will be dark green with foliage. There will be two fountains gushing strongly. In them will be the fruits and the palm trees and the palm grenades. In them will be the maidens who will be very beautiful. Huris, well guarded in tents and pavilions. Now note, about the first Jannah, the word Hur didn't appear. But the second Jannah, this word, this word Hur is coming. There's some difference. And you, will, you will note it again in Surah Waqiyah. Hurum Maksuratun Fil Khayam, the Huris, well guarded. In pavilions and tents. Them nobody has, will have touched before, neither men nor jinn. Reclining upon green cushions and lovely colorful carpets. Blessed is the name of your Lord, O Prophet, the owner of majesty and honor. 